We are so happy to have her. Jillian, you inspire us every day oh, in our work life. This is all stuff we've collected from the office because literally when we think about someone who lives and breathes what they, what they do, walks the talk, talks the walk, and all of the above, it's you. How do you do it? <laughs> Sorry, let me just laugh for a second. Okay. Right. Let, me just, let me just crack up laughing. Um, you know, I, I make a lot of mistakes. Things slip through the cracks and I screw up a lot and I fail a lot and I try to learn from my mistakes and not make the same mistakes over and over again. Um, One of my favorite tips, and it was in our June issue of Chatelaine, the 90%, was it 90%, 10% or 80%, 20%? 20%. So tell us about the 80-20 rule. I find that life is all about balance. So, you know, when it comes to food, yes, it's like if you make the better choice 80% of the time, 20% of the time you're having the glass of wine, the piece of pizza, you're gonna be successful. When it comes to your food, it's a matter of minding your quantity, don't overeat, and try to remove stuff that isn't food from your diet. Chemicals, fake fats, fake colors, fake sweeteners, because not only does it disrupt your metabolism, but it also makes us sick, hands down. Uh, when it comes to working out, you get it in whenever you can, as often as you can manage. I would say four half hours a week minimum, six hours a week maximum. It's about the techniques that you apply to the workout. Train multiple muscle groups at the same time, body weight training, free weights, Work out. Accidental exercise, that's another one that I just love. Running up and down the stairs, whatever it takes, right? Laundry. As long as you, as long, it's not, not really fan. enough, Come yeah. On. It's got it, it's, it's good on top of it all. <laughs> okay. It, but I wouldn't substitute it with, uh, I wouldn't substitute it for exercise. Very but it's great point. to add a little extra burn. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So like, yeah, I'll talk on the phone standing up and it burns a little bit more and it, it adds up over time, but I wouldn't see it as a substitute for actual fitness. Good point. Now you talked a lot about people being motivated by hitting rock bottom. Mm -hmm. Now, how, a lot of us are not quite at rock bottom, but we wanna eat better, live better, live our best life. Can you tell us a little bit more about your best strategies to get there? Well, a rock bottom moment is more of a 12 stepper kind of like I'm drinking myself into oblivion, I'm eating myself into oblivion, I'm spending myself into oblivion. <laughs> so yeah, the average person does not need, need the rock bottom moment, they just need to be positively incentivized. And at that point it's a question of what is your why, what do you want out of your life and it's defining and emotionally connecting to goals and dreams that are not sweeping generalizations. Like, I want economic freedom, how would you like to get there? I want to be healthy, what does it look like in your life? I want to be in love. What kind of dynamic do you want in that relationship? So it's, it's being specific with your why and connecting to it. That's amazing. Thank you so much for coming to visit us at Chatelaine, Jillian. We're thrilled to have you. Thank I hope you. you'll visit us again when you I will. Out. Definitely. Thank you. Okay, thank you.